And most of all, Admiral Mullen, Deborah, Michael and I also want to acknowledge uh, your son Jack, who's... Does anything scare him? You know, uh, well, when, my, my, when uh, Michelle's mad. You know, my kids asked me, they said, you've got to ask the president, does anything scare him? You know, uh, well, when my, my, my when uh, Michelle's mad. No, Michelle is a trans. Uh, I'm sorry, she's a what? A transgender. Michelle or Michael Obama, uh, the first lady or the first tranny. Cosmic flame. Every time I look at them, something doesn't look right. Truth is what I choose. He's not just a great vice president, he is a great friend. I, we've gotten so close in some places in Indiana, they won't serve us pizza anymore. Indiana, they won't serve us pizza anymore. is Larry Sinclair. In regards to the Obama incident, on November 6, 1999, I asked the limo driver if he knew anyone who would like to socialize and show me Chicago. He used his cell phone to make a call. That call was made to then Illinois State Senator Barack Obama to set up an introduction between myself and Senator Obama. Senator Obama asked me if I was referring to Coke, and I stated I was. Senator Obama arranged the cocaine purchase. Senator Obama and I then departed the bar in my limousine and proceeded to an unknown location. He turned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine, which he gave to me. Shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine. The following day, November 7, 1999. Senator Obama appeared at my hotel room where we again ingested cocaine and I again performed fellatio on Senator Obama.